Solar, Battery, Life Bio 4, Multimeter, DC Charger, Balancers, or Equalizers, Active Balancers, Wiring, Battery Interconnect, Bus Bars, Parallel Connection. Improvised balances by JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Today's video, I didn't bring you along to show you how I wired this 12 volt battery pack here. So we have 20 cells here. Okay, with this a top band LEP. Uh, no LFP sorry 3.2 volt 25 amp hours so 25 amp hours in series is 4s 25 25 25 25 50 100 125 amp hour battery bank four batteries which is a 4s 4s 5p See that? Five batteries in parallel and it's a 4S configuration. These are the voltages we're started with. <clears throat> Play with the voltages, trying to balance them with my balancers, BMS balancers by improvised by JW Solo USA. I use a couple, uh, I think it's um I think it's a 14 gauge. I forgot what it is. Here we go. It's a 20 gauge. See that? It's a 0 0.8, 0 0.81 by 15 point something, 0.2 meters. So it's a copper wire I use. And if you haven't seen that, go back to my videos. You see what I've done, how I did my. Um, Passive balancing or BMS by JW Solar USA. This is what I've done, and today I already connected the uh, uh, the connector for the active balancer right here. But I've done this without you guys behind the scene. I ordered a bunch uh, about four of these. But I was thinking I said that in one of my videos. I have to if I have to go this way. I think instead of a, a 4S, I think I should have gone to maybe a 6S uh, balancer. <clears throat> but I decided to go through this way because 4 in series, 4 in series, you know, 5 strings, 5 strings of 4s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a 4S 5P, gives us a 125 amp hours. So this is what I've done. I'm gonna have my Fluke meter here, Fluke 101, and I'll set it right here for you guys to see the voltages. I hope you can see this. I really want you to see this. Uh, All right, let's see if we can get this thing to stay or stand still. So we're gonna put it on the DC. And I'm gonna use the probes right here. And touch the balance leads right here. So this is the the B minus the black wire. The next one tied to the next battery depositive, the next battery positive, the next cell. That's what I meant the cell. And this go to the battery the main positive. So we're gonna start touching 
with the probes from the first cell oh boy see that what did you see Come on. Three point five, three point five, four five, and we move to the other one. It's seven point zero nine, and move to the next battery. For the next cell okay move to the next cell here 10.63 and we're going to go to the last cell here with the fourth cell 14.18 so each of these guys if I put the probes here and touch one string each string here is going to read the same voltage 14 14.18 14.18 14.18 14.18 14 <clears throat> guys with my balancers I created here by JW Solar USA this copper strings I make sure all this one if you go vertical you see this is the positive it ties up all the way it's so all the way because it's five strings I have here. Five to four. All this one became like a one battery. This one is a one battery. Like this one is a one battery. This is a one battery. So it's just like one cell. So five, five modules or cells to make, like, I'm going to call this a, like a cell now. Okay. Five cells like gives me one module. Five cells, one module. So I take this as, as a module. Okay. Um, well, there are already cells I put together. Each one here, each row is uh, 25, 125 amp hours. Okay. 25, 25, 50, 25, 25, 50, 125 here. Due to here. So 25 amp hours. So this entire 20 cells is now 120 amp hour. So, which is what we're going to do, and we're going to take this guy. So, I just want to tell you that my theory works. It works. The batteries are balanced. The cells are balanced. So, I just want to make sure I modify, just like being in the modern technology, every as everybody. Some people think it's archaic or maybe old school. So check this out. I'm going to plug in. There's a light right here behind my finger. You see the glowing light right here. It's on. So now we already activate the cells. So what I've done, I took one string here, one wire, go to the negative part of this, and one wire come to the positive part of this. So it's balancing these five cells. Five cells. It's 125 amp hour. It's balancing. It's balancing this. It's balancing this and balancing this. So each one is just like five cells. Now it's like a module. Like one battery, which is one cell. One big cell. Like 125 amp hour battery. We bought this is a five cells to make one, you know, 25 times five, well, 125. 
So that's what I created to beef up the amp. So each lead is going to five of these. Each lead is going to this. So this is the way I thought this is the best way I can do it by having my balances here, my wire. I hope, I hope I'm making sense. And now we're going to use the charger and uh, set it to 14 volt because these batteries are charged to 3.5 volt. So 3.5 volt times four, that gives you 14 volts. You charge it at 14. And remember the voltage we had before is uh, 14 point something, one something. And let's do it again. Let's be, let's be precise here. And um, yeah, 14.8. 14, 14 Okay, that's it, 14.8. Yeah, 14.18. So, <clears throat> if we wanna get this thing really balanced, so I'm gonna add to charge it like 14, 14, uh, 3.6. Yeah, it's supposed to be 3.6. So instead of 3.5, 3.6, so that gives us a 14.4 volts. 14.4 volts to balance this ba uh, cells we can just adjust here we can do maybe we can put a 14.1 something or whatever you want to put to your battery specifications stay tuned oh so i have to check i have to check the specification on this is charged at 3.65. So 3.65 volts is the max charge that will able to activate this balancers here. Like capacitors. Six point three, something like that. So we'll have to set this to fourteen six. 14.6 So 14.6 is the charging we're going to charge at 14.6 Okay I want the 1.1 14.6 It's too touchy So 14.6 So what we're going to do here We gets the uh, probe tied to the negative side here okay and we use the positive here and tie it to the positive terminal and now you will see what's happening there so we are charging 3.32 amps and I have to regulate this one it goes a little bit the uh 14.6 supposed to be 14.6 not 6 1 because 1 millivolt is a big deal okay we got it we are sitting right on it right there 14.6 There you go, 14.6 recharger. And this capacitor is going to start getting warm within the reach on the climax. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys see you on the next video. This is how you wired active balancer to a 4S active balancer 5 amp. It's a 4S 5 amp. Balancer.
Take care.